and we're back for another episode. In this episode we're going to be doing the storyline starting with 2.1. So in 2.1 they added in a whole bunch of new storyline quests continuing the old story. So um, yeah, so um, after finishing the last uh, story mode we unlocked the hard mode primals and we've done those already and now working on the extremes. Uh, but now this is a continuation of the story from where it left off. So in order to start it, you need to come to the Waking Sands here in Vesper Bay and you need to talk to Minfelia. So let's see what we have to do for the new quest line. So we talk to Minfelia and it says, Minfelia appears to be lost in four. So, hmm, Mifri, it pleases me to see you well. So it says, uh, do excuse me for interrupting, Mifri. My lady, the gentleman from Ashkana Exports has just left. Um, I understand now why you didn't want to receive him. Uh, you did well, Tataru. Please inform the guards that we will uh, not be receiving any further guests this morning. Uh, thank you, my lady. Um, ever since we defeated Gaius Van Balsar and destroyed his ultimate weapon, the eyes of the world had followed our every move, scarce remembering to blink. Um, where once we worked in secret with a precious few friends and all too many enemies, we are now besieged by benefactors, each one more eager than the last to offer us his complete support. Um, a true embarrassment of riches. Um, of course, every promise of uh, patronage comes with a price. Um, some make their intentions known from the start, while others endeavour to engage us more subtly. Uh, address it how they will, the message is ever the same. We shall help you, but only if you help us. Um, the gentleman Tataru spoke of was more brazen than most. In exchange for certain supplies, he would have, um, he would have us resolve a business dispute. Um, naturally, I refused him, as I have every other merchant of his ilk. Alas, the syndicate's um, overtures are not so easily rejected. Uh, when we formed the uh, Scions of the Seventh Storm, it was our goal of serving Eorzea, not the interests of individual Eorzeans. Our neutrality is fundamental to our cause. Um, in my heart, I know this to be true, and yet, and yet, if accepting these offers of patronage could empower us to do greater good, might they not warrant greater consideration? Um, our um, Baldesian colleagues have been generous beyond measure, but we cannot expect them to... Uh, forgive me, I did not mean to burden you so. Uh, yet, my urge to share this dilemma may not be wholly misguided. Might I impose upon you to consult the others? They are like to have their own opinions on this matter. Okay, so now we're going to go talk to the rest of the Scions and see what they think. Okay, here they all are. So if we talk to uh, Yishtola first. So, recall our meeting with the Admiral shortly after the Lamenza sent word of the summoning of Titan. Um, then perhaps you also recall my words to our host. I said unto uh, Maliab that her people had broken their treaty with the Cobalts and that the Beastmen had just uh, justly responded. Um, that we had been called to intervene in a conflict which she herself had invited. Um, I spoke, in short, the truth. And uh, wherefore did I speak it? Because, um, owing no allegiance to Limsa, I felt no compulsion to allow the Liminsans to distort the facts to fit a narrative which justified their actions and absolved them of guilt. 
Um, upon this subject, Menphelia can expect a similar reply. Um, our many um, dalliances with the city-states have already weakened our claim to neutrality, uh, but the path she uh, contemplates would see us relinquish it entirely. Okay, so let's now talk to Fancred. So, uh, fortune begets power and power fortune. Um, that we, especially you, have power is beyond doubt. The question is, what to do with it? Um, you may be interested to know that there is a growing belief among the refugees that Alamigo could be liberated, if only the Scions would commit their strength to the cause. Um, yet theirs is, um, but theirs is, uh, but one of many causes. We stand at a crossroads, Mifri. Each uh, path is paved with good intentions, but where they lead is f uh, far from clear. Okay, so let's now talk to um, Papa Limo. So, uh, none can deny that we would benefit from more support, but it comes at the cost of our principles. Um, neutrality was ever a delicate matter. I've lost count of the times I've had to explain to the uh, to people of our allegiances uh, need not necessarily lie in the same place as our headquarters. Mind you, if we are to sell the services for Gil, we might as well declare our fealty to Alda now and ha have done with it. Um, I'm quite sure um, Yida would enjoy the bribes. Okay, so let's talk to Yida. Now, I've been receiving a lot of gift lately, but Palomino makes me, keeps making me send them back. Um, it wouldn't be so bad, and some of them are really nice. I mean, very nearly abandon your principles nice, you know? Okay, well, let's finally talk to Yuri Gana. Um, uh, tis a lot uh, of the powerful to attract uh, covetous as well as the needy. Um, thus, doth uh, prudence dictate that those with power pro offer aid with one hand whilst um, other resists of ever on their hilt. Um, alas, we have not luxury of time to decipher our uh, petitioners uh, machinations or <laughs> machinations. Uh, nay, uh, not while the beast tribes do labour unseen defiant and defeat to raise up their fallen primals once more. Um, Doubt not that they shall return, stronger and bolder both, uh, nor shall we be the ones to meet them. This sacred change shall be ours. Uh, ours. Uh, Tis a uh, pity we are so few, and our fortune so finite. Okay, so let's now talk to Alphanade. Alpha Nord, however you want to pronounce it. Hmm, this situation is not wholly unexpected. I too have given much thought to our organization's future, though it would seem I have reached a different conclusion. Um, mayhap it is time I made my feelings known to the um, antecedent. Come along, Mifri. Um, Alphinod, Mifri, is Ultimis. Um, your desired uh, counsel, and you shall have it. Um, Inferior, the signs of the seventh zone must leave Uldar. Uh We must do what? Um, so long as we remain within Uldan territory, we will never be free to act with impunity. Uh, moving our headquarters to Vesa Bay only delayed the inevitable. Uh, we have demonstrated our capabilities, and the Syndicate have taken note. They will not suffer our organization to remain independent now. We are far from too uh, dangerous for that. Um, surely you realize that they um, are the reason Vespa Bay still lacks an Aetherite. Um, they know full well how beneficial one would be to our cause, uh, which is why it and other favors will uh, be denied us unless we cooperate. Um, if all die is no longer suitable, where would we? Where would you have us go? Um, experience has taught us that the appearance of neutrality is as important as the reality. 
<coughs> Accordingly, we must uh, keep each of the great nations at arm's length and plant our banner in a place which all agree is to be beyond their borders. Mordona. Uh, rather than as told to be precise, it lies within neutral um, territory and offers all of the essential facilities we require by ways of an additional benefit it also is frequented by a variable legion of adventurers who may serve to supplement our ranks. Um, I am of course conscious of the fact that we have developed a certain bond with Alda and her people over the years, uh, but I truly believe that this to be the best course of action. Um, as yourself observed, we have invaluable ties to the local community forged through years of concer concerted effort. Um, Alda, Alda is our home. Um, Alphinod, uh, to cast aside everything we have built and start anew in that desolate wasteland would be beyond reckless. Um, the decision is yours to make, um, and to see them. Um, I ask only that you recall the shared purpose which first moved us to found the signs of the Seventh Dawn, and which moved you to found the path of the Twelve ere that. Um, we aspire to an ideal, you and I, just as my grandfather did. Um, that makes us more than mere comrades in arms. Uh, we are much, we are as much your family as. And that's obviously his um, his staff that was destroyed when uh, Bahamut attacked. So uh, that will be all, Alpha Note. I am sure you have some um, fam familia affairs of your own to attend to. Um, your concern is most generous, but no, I have left them in the hands of men better suited to task than I. I could not very well allow my personal affairs to come before the needs of the Order, after all. Okay, so let's complete that quest. Okay, so okay, let's continue. Next quest. So it's called Moving On. So once again, Mephelia appears to be lost in fort, and we can select some random food as the next reward. So leave Alder. Has it truly come to this? Um, oh, Mephelia, uh, pray attend to Alphanode. Uh, he is engaged in some business or other that requires your assistance. Uh, pray be on our own. Alphanode w waits upon you, and I have uh, much to think about. Uh, oh, and tell him he shall have my answer in due time. Okay, so let's talk to him again. Uh, confound it, she knows what we must... Um she knows what must be done, and still she hesitates, um, all because of the, these fanciful uh, rumours. Uh, hmm, I should explain. Medphilia's mother, well, adoptive mother, was among the great many who perished during the Calamity. Um, uh, Felhimine was her name, though you may know her better as the songstress of Alda. She was a performer of a singular talent, and much beloved by the people of Eorzea, not to mention a certain uh, Charlean minstrel. Um, as you may imagine, the news of her passing was greeted with shock and disbelief by her adoring followers, many of whom refused to acknowledge what has happened. Um, uh, that her body was never found only served to encourage speculation. Uh, Manphilia too struggled at first to accept the truth, but as uh, Phil Hamin's absence stretched for months into years, she saw that there could be no other explanation. Uh, until recently at any rate, uh, for whatever reason, rumours have once again begun to circulate that uh, Phil Hamin is alive and well. Um, alas, they are served to rekindle an irrational hope in Manphilia, which now clouds her judgement. This talk of Aldar as our home, and of um, insurmountable difficulties of moving to Mordona it is no more than an expression of her unwilling, unwillingness to let go. Uh, nonsense in a word, but until the f tales of uh, Philharmon's uh, 
miraculous preservation have been categorically disproved, I fear she will remain lost to reason. Um, that being the case, I propose we set about disproving them uh, post-haste. Let's see how these uh, fanciful claims stand up to investigation. Uh, one of the most recent of the latest crop of rumors comes by to us by the way of Father Ilod. Um, question him for me. I shall look into another alleged sighting and follow it on. Okay, so now we need to go to Eastern Fanalan to the church. So let's teleport straight there. Thankfully, Camp Drybone is still one of my favorite destinations. And we also have reduced rates, so that's why we can teleport straight there for 77 gil. Very, very cheap. So the church is just there. Uh, good day to you, Mifri. Alpha Noah told me uh, to expect you. Uh, now, you are doubtless eager to ask me certain questions, but before you do, I must stress that I myself did not see Phil Harmon, uh, though I very much wish I had. I merely um, hearkened unto the tale of a mourner who came to stay with us. Uh, he is still here, if you wish to hear it for yourself. You will find him in the lich yard, I should think. Okay, so let's go outside. Talk to the person that had the rumor. So, I, I saw Phil Harmon just as clearly as I see you now. And yes, I'm sh sure it was her before you ask. I could never forget a woman like that. Uh, Twas uh, nigh on seven summers ago, I did first set my eyes on her. And I still remember as, it, it, as if it were yesterday. Um, I'm happy to report that the years have only made her more beautiful. Uh, where did I? Oh, Costa del Sol. She was giving lessons to uh, Gigi Ruju's women, and her voice, uh, God's her voice, that uh, soft uh, tinkling of bells resonating in my very soul. Um, I dare not say how her songs touched me. Okay, so we're going to report back to Father Illud. So I do believe, uh, do I believe the man's tale? Well, I believe that he believes it, though I, I do wonder. Um, I doubt I would recognize someone I barely knew um, whom I hadn't seen in seven years. But if it uh, is even the slightest possibility that Phil Harmon yet lives, uh, do we not owe it to Menphilia to pursue it? Okay, so which route shall I take? I will take the, let's see. I'll take this one, skill speed, why not? Okay, next quest. It's called Flowers for One, and you will receive some uh, cooking sherry. So it says, Father Illud wishes to say a few words before you depart for Costa del Sol. Um, if this woman resembling Phil Harmon was employed at Costa del Sol, um, then that is where you should go. Um, I will inform Alphanode of these latest developments. Uh, you need only concern yourself with the search. Uh, Master Gigi Ruju should remember you from your past engagements, so I suggest you waste uh, no time and approach him directly. Okay, so we need to go to Costa del Sol, and again, by coincidence, it happens to be one of my favorite destinations, so let's go. Is that the end of this pier? So 
So, O oh, sweet sirens of the sand, my Makote muse, why have you forsaken me? Um, Titan's bane, I mean Mifri, uh, what brings you to my humble resort? Um, Vilharman, you mean you tell me the goddess made flesh who dwelt among us um, until so very recently was the songdress of Uldar? Um, Egad's woman, if I had known that I would have uh, chained her to my bedpost and never let her leave. Um, uh -huh, an exaggeration for dramatic effect. Um, as to her current whereabouts, I recall she mentioned Winepore. Ah, but there is no need to pursue her, my friend. When she tries, um, when she tires of her rough way of living, she will make straight for Costa del Sol and uh, fling herself into waiting arms, flushed and breathless. Okay. So now we need to go to Wineport. So I think I'll let's see how much the teleport is actually. Yeah, 100 gil to save two minutes, I guess. Because I paid 40 gil for the ferry anyway. Okay, so there's two people to talk to here, it seems. Okay, here's one. Uh, well, if it isn't Mifri, the saviour of Wineport, what do we owe the pleasure? Ah yes, we did receive a customer matching that description. She was a delight to behold and to give the woman her due, uh, but her perfume was so ghastly I had no choice but to eject her from the premises, interfering with uh, tastings, you understand. Um, if she is your quarry, uh, why not um, consult your blind associate? Um, his olfactory perception is without peer. Um, given that I could smell the woman from a mile away, I dare say he could smell her from ten. Okay. There we go. So, hey, uh, you want to know if I've seen a Makote lass by the name of Philharman? Um, I wish. I haven't seen a lass of any description for far too bloody long. Uh, uh, excepting yourself, of course. Okay. So now we'll talk to the um, Shamani Lamani. And we have to remember that he's actually blind as well. So um, I see you have, um, I see you've had had many grand adventures since we last spoke, Mifri. You must share them with me sometime. Uh, the girl from a little while ago, uh, one does not forget a perfume like that, so robust and intoxicating, yet simultaneously uh, familiar, reminiscence of a bloom native to these parts. In fact, uh, I said as much when we spoke. She complimented my powers of observation and asked me where she might find some of the flowers. So I told her to follow the road south into Rain Catcher Gully and then head east after the crossing the second bridge. The flowers which grow in the shade of the cliff um, have the strongest scent you see. Um, if you make haste you may yet find her there. Okay so we have to head here after the second bridge to the south. So while we're running there, uh, I just want to mention the Party Finder. So what you can do, you can go to Social, you can click on Party Finder, and then you can see um, a list of parties which are available that people are recruiting for. So um, as you can see here, there's these people doing, they're doing Turn 4, and some people doing Turn 5, and so on, Garuda Extreme, and so on and so on. So it's basically a uh, way to find people and you can recruit whoever you like and then uh, all you have to do is then click join obviously I can't join this party because they need a tank but yeah that's how you do it simple as that and that's how I found my group to do turns 1, 2, 3 and 4 in Binding Coil um, the other day so it's a very very nice feature that's for sure and you can set requirements as well so basically if you want people to have a certain minimum item level then they will be the ones um, who will be, uh, be able to join and not everyone okay 
to defeat this Goku. Um, I am in your debt, stranger. I did not realize my activities had aroused the Gobi's ire until it was too late. Um, their oils can be used to make a perfume, you see, and I... Uh, Phil Harmon? I'm... I don't... Um, who are you? Whom do you serve? Uh, typical. Of all the many leads, yours obviously had to be the one which bore fruit. Um, I don't know why I bother. Um, the song trees of order, I presume. Menphilia, or I should say, um, Ascilia, uh, is looking for you. Um, Ascilia? Um, you are the very picture of health, my lady, yet the world thinks you dead. Um, I can only conclude that this was by design. The question is, why? Um, not everyone who endeavours to find me does so with the best intentions, child. Um, you will be pleased to know that I uh, fully intend to reveal myself to Menphilia when the time is right. Um, oh, well, uh, that does please me, uh, more, more than you know. But tell me, uh, Sir John's in the forest of Lenosia aside, uh, when exactly will the time be right? Um, when I deem it so, uh, do you imagine I travelled all this way on a whim? Um, as I was telling your associate prior to your intrusion, I came here to harvest these flowers for use in a perfume. Does that satisfy your curiosity? And um, would you interrogate me further? Um, my apologies for the interruption. Anyway, now um, that we all have that which we came for, might we continue this conversation in a safer locale? Wineport, say? Now uh, that's settled, uh, to Wineport, Mifri. Okay, so a quick run back to Wineport. So, um, the only things I've been told about the new story quest is that at some point you'll eventually be sent to do a couple of guild heists, and also that this is how you unlock King Mogomog for the encounter known as Torn March. Okay, here we are. So, uh, this, this is not at all how I envisioned it. Um, ahem, having been apprised of our situation, La Lady Philharmon has consented to uh, plead our case to Menphilia regarding the proposed move to Mordona. However, she will only do so once her perfume is complete. Moreover, she insists that we aid her in obtaining the final ingredient. Um, she will not be swayed, I assure you, I tried. Um, uh, let's just get this over with, shall we? Okay, so complete that quest. Let's talk to her again. So, um, all things in time. Uh, Phil Harmon awaits your assistance. And then you can select a grade 4, um, materia. And I'm assuming it's actually the GP materia that probably goes for the most. But I, I might, if I have a chance, I will go check the market board to see. Um, Believe me when I tell you that I am every bit as eager to return to Vesper Bay as you are. There is uh, work to be done here that, that however, so listen well. Um, I require pristine salamander oil to complete my perfume. Um, oil, um, this pure, can only be obtained from the belly of a uh, Guranchigat, a, a notoriously elusive species of wavekin native to Bronze Lake. Um, elusive, I say, not uh, so 
yet no less sensible to the allure of the right bait. Um, in the instance that would be freshly slain mud puggles, a uh, free place at the water's edge should be sufficient to tempt any uh, Guriyat lurking nearby. Um, they are aggressive when startled and will attack on sight. Yet given the ease with which you dispatch the Gobu, I doubt they will be trouble um, for you. Okay, so we need to collect the carcasses from Apollonosia right here. So if we can teleport straight to Camp Bronze Lake. We don't necessarily have to, I think we can just literally... Yeah, we can just run there, we'll be there in a sec. I am liking my HP at this point, given that this is unbuffed. So there's only three potential upgrades I'm now going for. is the um, the second Griffin Skin Ring, the Hero's Belt of Aiming, and also the Allegon Weapon, the Allegon Bow. Okay, here are the Pugles. Okay, so now we need to go here to attract the um, Guranshkach. Okay, almost there, it's not too far of a run. Stay here to lie and wait. There it is. Take the oil straight back to Wineport. So, hope you all are enjoying 2.1 so far. I'm having a blast. I also tried uh, this morning a uh, Garuda Extreme. So, I will probably upload the attempt video um, later on. Uh, it was quite fun to do as well. We didn't, unfortunately, we didn't get it down. So, um, so I'm still deciding if I'll upload the attempt video or not, or if I'll just go for a kill and then just upload that.
As I said, thankfully, Wineport is not too far away. There she is. So we now have the final ingredient so she can make the perfume. Um, understand that it is the utmost important that I finish this perfume before I accompany you to Vesper Bay. Please bring me the oil as soon as possible. There we go. Christine's um, salamander oil. So once again I am in your debt. Um, I distilled the flowers oils in your absence so all that remains is to... Uh, uh, there, it is ready. And so am I. It is time we went to see my daughter. Okay. So now we can go to the Waking Sands. So let's teleport to uh, Wineport because it's the closest. No, sorry, to Horizon because that's the closest place. So, something actually, later today, when I do my dailies for the Sylphs and the Amalgia, I'll actually hit the second rank. So, I will be making videos covering hitting the second rank as well, just to, so we can look at the rewards that you can get a rank 2 for each one. There she is. Now, um, a dissident, um, you have a guest. Uh, Lahamine. Um, Acelia. I haven't seen her like this in years, Mithri. Um, I never truly believed it when you told me you were dead, but what kept you away so long? I'm oh, sorry, when they told me you were dead, I don't know when you were talking, that's funny. So, um, the Imperials came for me, and as um, I always knew they would, and so I resolved to stay as far away from you as I could, uh, lest their pursuit of me endanger you and our cause. Um, I could think of no better way to grant you the freedom to continue our work. And continue what you did, achieving things I would not have imagined possible. I followed your every success and celebrated in secret. Um, I'm so proud of you, Ocelia. Um, I learned from the best. Um, I have a gift for you. Um, Sir Salsetia perfume? You remembered. Um, how could I ever forget? You wore it all the time. 
Um, if ever I lost sight of you, I could uh, find you again by following my nose. Um, I did not think it was made anymore. You must have gone to so much trouble. Um, it was no trouble for me, my darling. I fear I cannot say uh, the name Mifri, however. Uh, sorry, I, can, I fear I cannot say the same for Mifri, however. Um, I could not have made it without her. Uh, thank you, Mifri. Thank you both. Uh, there's something else. Um, this is the cat's eye I found all these uh, years you kept it. Uh, my father was a member of the Alamegan resistance. Uh, when I was yet a child, he brought me here to Uldar. The accident which claims his life happened shortly after our arrival. Um, it was uh, Lehaman who took care of me then. She raised me as her own, taught me everything I needed to know to survive. Uh, hmm. I am, I'm no stranger to the facts of your history, yet I fear I have failed to grasp their implications. It is clear that there is much I do not know about you and your mother both. Uh, one of her first lessons to me concerned mining and it was a very dedicated, sorry, and I was a very dedicated student. Uh, this cat's eye was the first stone I unearthed and uh, it wasn't uh, much of course but it was exceedingly proud to have found it nonetheless. Uh, so I gave it to Lehaman as a gift. She said it was beautiful, but uh, there I am at a loss. Uh, why are you returning this to me? Is something amiss? Uh, no, Asilia, nothing is amiss. Uh, quite the opposite. I need you to realize how far you've come and how much further you may uh, still, must still go. Um, you and your allies have accomplished more than I ever could have hoped. Uh, you have succeeded where I failed and made me so proud that that words fail me. Um, and even as I marvel at the woman you've become and at all many things you've done, I cannot help uh, but think um, of that which you have yet to do and of what it may entail. Asilia, daughter, you cannot stay here anymore. You and your science must leave Uldar. Uh, Lehaman. Uh, you built it once, Cecilia. You can build it again, and this time we'll do it together. Truly? Um, Alphino, the time has come for the Scions to leave Vesper Bay. Uh, we shall establish a new headquarters in Revenant's Toll, as you proposed. Uh, much work lies uh, ahead of us. Inform our fellow Scions and send word to the students of uh, Baldassium. Preparations begin at once. Okay, so I'm going to take the GP one, complete. So our next quest. The next quest is called the Resolute. You have Craftsmanship, CP and Control, and also a Silver Piece. So Mephelia wishes to discuss our plans of the forthcoming move to Mordona. Um, as ever, your enthusiasm is greatly appreciated. Um, our first step will be to secure cooperation with of the Adventurers Guild representatives in Reverence Toll. Uh, were it not for the Guild's considerable efforts, the original camp um, Reverence Toll would have been never been established, much less its more heavily fortified successor. Uh, however, the construction with construction still ongoing, the resources in short supply, it seems certain that the Guild will require something in return for their support. Um, sympathetic to our cause, though they may be. 
uh, whatever they ask I shall not begrudge it uh, to be plain we need them more than they need us without their assistance uh, such essential tasks um, as securing new facilities, cultivating relationships with local merchants and recruiting adventurers uh, would prove dis difficult, if not impossible. Um, you need not concern yourself with such matters um, and TC them. Uh, really, often odd, if I need concern myself with anything, it surely matters, uh, it is surely matters such as these. Um, indirectly, perhaps, I submit to that you might instead concern yourself with a different matter, namely to whom the resolution of such matters might best be entrusted. And, and I am here, um, nor do I come alone. May I present the esteemed emissary of the Adventurers Guild at Revenant's Toll. Um, it is an honor, Antis Antisidon. Uh, upon receiving word of your intentions from Master Alphanod, we thought it best to begin talks at the earliest possible opportunity. Um, uh, know that my associates at Revenant's Toll hold the Science of the Seventh Dawn in the highest regard. We should be honored to welcome your organization. Uh, there are, of course, certain provisions which must uh, needs be negotiated. Um, if it please you, I would do so. Um, it does. Uh, madam, unless I am uh, much mistaken, you are the one known as Mifri, are you not? Uh, may I say what a pleasure it is to make your acquaintance. Um, Southborn spoke of you in the most glowing terms. To steal an Imperial uh, Reaper and then use it to infiltrate a Garlean Castrum is an undertaking few would contemplate and fewer still survive. Um, you shall always be welcome at Revenant's Toll. We hope you will favour us with your presence again ere long. Uh, well, well, it would seem your reputation precedes you, Mifri. Mayhap I sh uh, should dispatch you to Revenant's Toll with all haste, as first intended. Um, but there is something else I would ask of you first, not as a scion, but as a friend. Uh, my mother is troubled. I have seen her behave this way before, and I know she will dismiss my concerns if I inquire. Uh, despite our closeness, she has um, ever been unwilling to burden me with her problems. Uh, it may be that she will welcome your concern, however. She likes you, Mifri. And more importantly, you are n not family. Do not bother with uh, subterfuge. She will know I sent you. Simply do uh, what you can to help her. That is all I ask. I am in your debt. Okay, so we're now going to talk to her. And she's just outside the door. Okay. She is. So, hmm, um, have I become an open book or has she acquired still greater powers of insight? I shall choose to believe the latter. Um, if you must know, one of my earrings is damaged and I am not uh, one to sigh for such uh, trifles, but they were a gift. Um, here you wish to help, yes? Then uh, do what I cannot. Take them to the Goldsmith Guild in order and see if anything can be done. Okay, so I'm going to quickly teleport to Uldar. You can use the Aethernet to teleport straight to the Goldsmith Guild. So, uh, yes, what is it? Earrings, you say? Very well, let me see them. So we're going to hand over the earrings. It says, exquisitely wore cat's eye earrings. The setting of 
one is damaged, though the gems appear to be unharmed. So hand over. Uh, by the 12, I know this design. Um, humble cap's eyes are polished and set so exquisitely as to make the clearest of diamonds seem dour and dull. Um, Valhamen Aria. Uh, and um, if I am any judge of quality, crafted by Master uh, Neely uh, Fresne himself. Um, oh, oh dear me. And I fought myself above sentiment. Look at my hands, they're shaking. Um, I require no payment, madam. To be entrusted with this duty is a reward enough. But since I must needs devote my full attention to the task at hand, perhaps you could attend to a small matter while I work. Um, I have an appointment to meet one of my suppliers, a fellow by the name of um, Odinel. Um, I uh, by got strike in southern Fanalan. He has prepared a shipment of ore uh, for me, you see. If you were collected in my stead, I sh should be most grateful. Okay, so we need to go straight to South Fanaland right here. So if we teleport to Forgotten Springs, that's the closest destination. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and you um, enjoyed yourselves, had fun with family and friends and so on. And uh, 2013 was an interesting year so we'll see what 2014 brings. So, uh, you came all this way on uh, Mimi Disu's account? Well, bloody hells, I can't deny as I'm a bit uh, surprised by that. Um, he's normally a right pain in the arse, you see. Always comes to collect his goods in person, and then spends uh, the gods know how long inspecting him. Um, I'll take something serious to, some f to stop him. Hey, uh, he's not on his uh, deathbed, is he? No? Strange. Um, here is his ore anyway. We're square, right? And then give the man my regards. Okay, so we need to go straight back to the Goldsmith Guild. So Aethernet, Goldsmith Guild. Um, you've returned at the perfect time, friend. Ah, yes. May I have, um, may I have my one? Okay, so sack of ores. There's a the large burlap sack filled with assorted ores of unknown value. And over. Uh, good, good. I should sort um, through these later. Uh, now the array. Unfortunately, Unfortun only the class was damaged, and the rest seems remarkably well maintained. Um, you may be sure that I took every possible precaution when replacing the broken section. Oh, and I also took the liberty of polishing the piece, as you can see. So no, no, I require no payment. Now, truth be told, I would happily have paid you for the privilege of laying hands on such a masterpiece. Now, to have um, attended to its restoration may well be the defining achievement of my career thus far. My sincerest thanks. Okay, so now we need to go back to the Waking Sands. So it seems there's a lot of travelling at this point, but whatever.
Almost there. There basically isn't any way to get here any quicker simply because there isn't any aphorite in um, Vesper Bay. Hand of the repaired item. Uh, well, uh, did you do as I bid you? Uh, pray tell me your trip was not uh, for naught. There we go. So the Philharmon's Aria, so crafted by Master Goldsmith uh, Nelly Fresne, and named for the woman who served as his inspiration. The uh, masterful use of cat size uh, is breathtaking. Okay. Uh, Mifri, I thank you. They sparkle as they did the day Nail gave them to me. Um, my uh, Nail, who sleeps even now, uh, looking for all the world as if that cursed blade had taken his young life mere moments ago, not years. Uh, ye gods, I could almost bear it as if uh, he were truly gone, but um, here he lingers. Um, can the soul be at peace while the flesh yet remains? Every day I pray that he has entered Fal's realm. Um, I pray and I pray and I pray. Uh, to love is is to lose, child. Uh, one can but postpone the moment of parting. Um, and so um, I shall. My daughter will not lose me again. Not for as long, uh, for a long while yet. God's willing. Uh, tell Ercilia that I am quite well, Mifri. Uh, she should concentrate on more important matters, and so should you. Okay, so let's talk now to Menphilia. Uh, quite well, you say. We both know she is not. Uh, yet mayhap she will be in time. Thank you, Mifri, a thousand times. Thank you. Um, you're here. Good. Uh, the ne negotiations are concluded. And? Um, our friends at the Adventurers Guild have agreed to furnish us with new facilities and uh, material support in exchange for our assistance in the ongoing defense and development of Revenant's Toll. Uh, the Science of the Seventh Dawn shall have a new home in Mordona, the ri Rising Stones. Uh, a bittersweet victory, if truth be told. I cannot deny that I had come to look forward to Tataru's tales of our many guests and their many, many demands. Uh, for the waking sands to the rising stones, uh, uh, passably poetic, uh, that wasn't your doing, was it? Um, I too have news to share. In um, expectation of this momentous day, I personally informed the Alliance leaders of our plans and they have pledged their full support, General um, Rahaban included. Uh, moreover, I have decided that the time is right for us to cast off the vestige of our Order's veil of secrecy and out announce ourselves to the world. Um, are you sure that is wise um, antecedent? 
Um, if anything, it is a mere formality. Our existence is quite possibly the worst kept secret in Eorzea. Um, let us affirm our identity, proclaim our achievements, and that all may know that the signs of the seventh dawn stand for. Uh, well, obvious risks apart, it would be uh, nice to receive a little more recognition. And the people have the right to know who saved them. Um, it is my hope that this gesture will encourage the people of Eorzea to place their trust in us. Um, I would reveal to them the true extent of our power, yes. Um, but in doing so, I would show them that it is a power accountable to no one and um, at once to all. Um, and what of us? Uh, we who have fell primals and faced down the Empire. Uh, to you, my fellow scions, I would say this. Prepare the challenges which lie ahead, uh, for they will be great indeed. Uh, great, um, I say, uh, yet no greater than us. And we will rise to them, as we have time and again, united as one. Hmm, there must be some way I can... Wait, um, that area is said to be rich in minerals. Uh, maybe I should ask uh, Phil Harmon to teach me the basics of mining too. Okay, so I'm going to take the craftsmanship one, so complete. Next quest. So, uh, Memphelia has a mind to dispatch you to Revenant's Toll. So, uh, do you ever wonder how it, uh, he does it? Alpha Node, I mean. Um, it was almost predictable that he should appear with, with an emissary of the Adventurers Guild mere moments after I had expressed the need to forge ties between our organizations. Uh, truly, his sense of timing rivals even your own. Um, setting such mysteries aside for the present, I have two tasks for you. First, I would like you to deliver these documents to uh, Slathborn. They concern our forthcoming move. Second, and this is the more onerous task, I would have you place yourself at his disposal, at his disposal in accordance with the agreement between ourselves and the Adventurers Guild. Uh, represent us well, Mifri. So we need to teleport to Revenant's Toll. And again, it just happens to be my, one of my favorite locations, which is convenient. Um, I was told to expect a scion, but I didn't expect it to be you. Um, it has been far too long, Mifri. You have something for me, yes? I'm going to hand over the sealed document. It says documents detailing the science plan operations for the next several weeks. Okay. Um, let's see now. Yes, everything appears to be in order. Uh, you'll be staying with us for a while, yes? Excellent. Uh, would that... Um, would that... We had a dozen more like you. Um, since we don't, though, uh, we'll just have, we'll just give you the work of a dozen men. Um, I jest, I jest. Well, uh, you'll see soon enough. Okay, so, so I just take whatever potion, doesn't really matter. Next quest. So, so when it comes to keeping, um, its home flies burning, the Adventurer's Guild is no stranger to caution. Uh, what fuel does Southborn intend for you to gather today? Um, there is much work to be done right here in Revenant's Toll, and we hope you can help. Um, the Toll grows and prospers and attracts the jealous attention of the Garleans and low creatures. Um, we must see our fortifications if we um, are not to be overrun. The perimeter wall is solid enough. Uh, what we lack is less perceptible. Uh, magical defenses that will repel our enemies. The sort of scholars of... Um, antiquity, say, were powered by ancient ward stones. Um, I am told that there are many such stones in the ruins of um, at Khan, the Sunken Temple. Uh, more than a few temple raiders have been, have been foiled by their magics, no doubt. Um, it seems um, a fine jest, 
that we adventurers are now to be guarded by the same magic that protected the treasures of Quan against our uh, two um, adroit fingers. Um, the temple is in southern Fanaland, as you may know. A fellow by the name of uh, Bimimu is a resident uh, naturalist there. He will grant you entry, uh, for he owes a favor or two to our guild. Um, I've no doubt you will uh, come across a wardstone as you make your way through the ruins. Bear in mind that um, your success will serve to strengthen relations between the Adventurers Guild and the Scions. Okay, so we have to complete... We have to go to the Sunken Temple of Khan. But I did notice that there's another quest right here. So let, let's talk to this person. So, um, Sark Malark is a man of mystery. Uh, where did he come from? How did he get here? And what does he want you to do today? So again, a whole bunch of potions, accept. So, ah, Mifri, it is most welcome to see you again. Um, look at the hustle and bustle of adventurers. Uh, where uh, there were, but rocks not long ago. Um, and as one of those who has been here since the beginning, I am humbled by the sight. Um, yet none of us can be full glad, for the Guardian forces nearby like um, not our bustle at all, and our hustle even less. Uh, they seek to move on. Um, us soon, and we are all but certain. Um, this is no idle speculation, Mifri. Three steel bone uh, crates of the familiar type were delivered to Castrum Sentry uh, not two days ago. Um, the contents are no doubt arms. To defend the land they hold, uh, to take what we hold, um, neither is a particularly attractive prospect, you must admit. Um, I propose a third outcome that is uh, less like to claim lives. Um, if you would aid me, Destroy the ke uh, crates and their contents now. Um, use these explosives um, I had rushed from the Alchemist Guild. They will do the job, rest assured. Um, who better to make the attempt than you, um, who once walked undetected into Castrum Sentry? Uh, Twelve uh, speed your way, sister adventurer. Okay, and then there's another quest here as well, for quest in Revenant's Toll. And these are all story quests, that's why they have the Meteor symbol around them. So it says, a supply uh, carriage to Revenant's Cold is late, and uh, Guliam will know the reason why. Accept. So, well now, in the nick um, in the nick you are, lass, again showing up just when you're needed. Um, I'm waiting on a supply uh, carriage from Gridania. It should have been here by now, even if they stopped a spell in Fogot Float to wet their whistles. Um, the carriages always pass through the North Shroud. Um, here, stretch those pretty legs some, why don't you? Go and ask the wood whalers over in the float if they've uh, seen something. Okay, so we're going to do the quest in Mordona first, right here. And I think... Uh, hmm. I just... I wonder which one is quicker. Yeah, I'm going to teleport to the processing plant and then just run north. So V1... Um, let's see, here we go. Processing plant. And then after we're done with that quest, we're going to go to North Shroud to Volgo Float. What I tend to do when I'm doing the story quests is I will uh, do all the way until there's some sort of dungeon or fight or something and then I will stop um, and do other things because I feel there's no point to just stop when you're just all you're doing really is reading quest text and running place to place. I might as well just get it all done in one, one hit. So we obviously have unlocked the fact that we need to do Sunken Temple of Khan um, but uh, this these, these side quests I just want to get done before we go to the temple so that when we're out of the temple we can immediately continue with the next part of the story. Okay, almost there. So 
Let's see if I can destroy this without attracting too many monsters. Here we go. go. So let's teleport quickly now to Fargo's float. So if we can get the both quests done before we head back to Revenant's Toll. A supply carriage bound for Revenant's Toll hasn't come through here, I can tell you that. Um, but maybe it's the same one. Uh, we just received word that an Ixali attack on the carriage, you see. Um, seems like too much of a coincidence, but you never know. Um, may as well have a look, eh? Um, you'll find one of our men on the scene. The carriage is uh, waylaid on the road just east of here. Okay, so it seems it even gets as far as I'll go float. here here is the wood whaler so it says hello uh, what have we here an adventurer uh, by the 12 and a superbly gaunt one um, as you can see, a few gentlemen of the road, uh, gentle birds if you must, ambushed his carriage and took the cargo and both coachmen. Um, how's that for a day's work? Um, the tracks lead to the Exali logging grounds to the north. Uh, you look a hungry sort, how about it? Will you rescue the coachman and recover those supplies? I guess yes I will. So let's go now straight to here and get those supplies back. So, I think, yeah, once these quests are down, hopefully this episode will come to an end, and then we can move on to the next parts. And it is nice, as I said, that they're extending the story, that it didn't just end where it did, because, to be honest, I was really sad when the first story ended, because I thought, wow, finish the game already. So it's like, nope, it's an MMO, you can't finish it, they'll always add more. I need to hopefully do what I'm doing without attracting too much attention. I don't know if that's possible though, given that there's face like right here. Uh, 
thank you for freeing me, stranger. I can manage alone from here on. Um, I shall await your safe return at the carriage. Troll speed your way, adventurer. There's the other coachman. There's a... Woo, I thought I was done for. These supply runs are getting a little too interesting for my taste. Um, I'd best get out of here before the birdmen come back in force. Uh, many thanks and uh, try not to get killed. Okay. So there's one of the provisions right there. I do wonder if I can even get to it though without having to kill all of these mobs. Okay, that's one of the supplies, so now we need to go here to get the other two. It's always risky when there happens to be a fate going on. So where's the last crate now? Should be somewhere in the circle, I'm just trying to find out where. Ah, there it is. Okay. Okay, so that's that done. So we now need to go straight back to the supply carriage. So I'm going to quickly dismiss my chocobo. Then go straight there. Almost there. So, uh, we are both in your deck, good adventurer. I shudder to think what fate the Exali had in mind for us. You see the supplies meant for Revenant's toll? It pains me to say, but um, this is all that remains. The carriage is in no state to resume the journey, um, nor are the chocobos. We shall have to arrange another transport. Would you take word back to uh, Gulligan? Okay, so let's teleport straight back to Revenant's toll, turn in both extra quests.
So this is the first quest we did. Let's turn it in. So uh, we could hear the explosions. I knew you would uh, make a success of it. Um, this should draw the Garlean's sting for a while, but not uh, for too long. We must be vigilant for... Um, however, I did afford such uh, quality munitions, you ask. Um, oh, Mifri, you needn't concern yourself with such trivial details. Uh, nevertheless, your stealth and compa compassion are appreciated in equal measure. Um, I am a lucky man indeed to be part of this fellowship, adventurers one and all. Okay, so I'll just take this piece. When the quest lines sort of branch off into multiple quests, you usually end up having to do them all before you can continue later on, so I'm just getting them out of the way. So, attacked by the Exali? Well, roll me in Stardust and dash me from the sky. Um, uh, not that I ought to be surprised, mind you. Uh, Gossip Fleet where uh, adventurers sleep, and I've heard the talk of primals walking, waking. Uh, beastmen won't let a sleeping primal lie, will they? Um, but never mind that, you did well enough saving those two coachmen. Um, I'd go put some meat on your bones with that reward. Uh, it's looking far too thin you are. Okay, so accept these. Complete. Okay, so that's those two side quests completed. So I'm going to now teleport straight to um, the little Alamigo and then run straight to the Sunken Temple. go right here. Obviously there was someone trying to get my attention, so as soon as the video is done I will check what they wanted to say. Hopefully the quest will finish here for now because then I can go and do my dailies for the Amalgia and hit rank 2, which will be in the next episode. Okay, so here is uh, BB Moo. So, behold the magnificent ruin of Sunken Temple of Khan. Um, you know it was used by the uh, Belahidians for the greater glory of the Azima, uh, the sun goddess. Um, and as for the rest of it, you'll hear that uh, when I'm good and ready to publish. Um, oh, uh, you're the adventurer that Southborn sent word about? Um, yes, no doubt that there are wardstones to be had deep inside the ruins. Um, I regret to remind you, however, that this temple has been the death of many an adventurer. Southbourne wasn't too specific about that, was he? These ruins are practically the antechamber of uh, Tafal's uh, workroom. But do not let me deter you from your task. If you wish to proceed, be my guest. Okay, so the next part of the story quest will be to go in and do the Sunken Temple of Khan. So that's a good place to now stop. So, thank you for watching this part 1 of the 2.1 main scenario questline, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifra.